everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna, and it's day 32 of about going. Let's get going. So this will be about, like, all the thrillers and horrors that I haven't got to read for this month. Which is sad, I know, but there's just so many little time that I don't have. I need time. I have touched up on a few of these, so I'm just gonna go quickly go through them. Um, but if I have not touched on certain things, then I will briefly touch upon them. Let's get going. First one is The Secret Book and Scone Society by Ellery Adams. This is an intriguing new series set within a quirky small town club where the key to happiness, friendship, or solving a murder can all be found within the pages of the right book. My next one is The Seven Hours by Kimmy Grant Cunningham. My next name is The Stranger in the Mirror by Liv Constantine. My next one is Darkest Shallow Lies by Jenny Mayer Saint. My next one is The Corpse Queen by Heather Herman. My next one is Haunting Adeline by H. H. T. Colton. My next one is Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. Chasing the Boogie Run by Richard Schiesman. Tell the Soul by Kristen Miller. Our Last Echoes by Kate Alice Marshalls. The Buried by Melissa Gray. John of Hearts by Jennifer Hiller, House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. A young family moves into a small home on Ash Tree Lane when they discover is something is terribly wrong. The house is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. My next one is The Lighthouse by CJ Cookie. The Haunting of Leah Hanukkah by Darcy Coates. A chilling story of a quiet house on a forgotten suburban lane that hides a deadly secret. Summoning by, by J.P. Smith. Burn, Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. The Bitter White Oath by Hannah West. Kings and Queens, Royal Blood No. 1 by Courtney Vale. The Second Sister by Claire Kendall. Sinita by Megan Kenpisi. Spell for Forgetting by Adrian Young. Sleep Tight Hotel by Alyssa Unger. Eve has a fake ID, 8.38, and a violent lover reciting, reciting in the rear view mirror. He will never find her at the isolated motel, and his kindly manager is happy to he ease her fears. But if he's the only guest, what does she keep hearing on the other side of the wall? My next one is Hannah Beast by Jennifer McMahon. The Christmas Murder Game by Alexandra Bendick. Trace of Evil by Alice Blanchard. Body in the Garden by Catherine Shellman. The Island House by Amanda Brittany. A Corpse Flower by Anne Met Hancock. Like a Sister by Kelly Gar Garrett. In which no one bats an eye when a black reality TV star is found dead in the Bronx, except her estranged half sister, whose refusal to believe the official story leads her on a dangerous search for the truth. My next one is The Ravenous by Amy Lukovic. We Harvest by Aaron, by Anne Fanny Fannistad. The New Neighbor by Kevin Cleveland. The Marsh Queen by Virginia Hartman. The Resting Place by Camelia Steen. The Woman in the Woods by Lisa Hall. A Fear by Natasha Plenston. Woman of Fire by Lisa Bard. What the Woods Keep by Katia de Becala, Into the Jungle by Erica Fenwick. A young woman leaves behind everything she knows to take on the Bolivian jungle, but her excursion a quickly ab but her excursion aboard quickly turns into a fight for her life. Rules from the Vanishing by Kate Alice Marshall, Fatless by Amy McCulloch, The Sacrifice by Vin Chipaletro, The Colesters by Katie Hayes. House Cleaning Shadows by Kate Alice Marshall. The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. The Last Fear by Alex Finlay. The Skeleton Key by Erin Kelly. Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. The Hidden Code by Ho PJ Hoover. We're All Lying by M Mary Still. B Burlington by Heather Dixon. Then Goes Walking by Sammy Ellis. Such Pretty Flowers by K.L. Sierra. The Chateau by Jacqueline Goldis. All Dangerous Things by Stacey Mullingham. The Whispering News by Laura Purcell. The Hotel by Louise Mumford. Four Found Dead by Natalie D. Richards. 
The Vicious Game by Joelle Wellington. The Minute Game by Cynthia Murphy. When Darkness Blues by Hannah Andrea. The Light Up by Kiwi McCauley. The Woods of Waiting by Catherine Greeny. At the Speed of Lies by Sydney L. Ortiz. The Mystery of Mrs. Christie by Mary Bendict. And Girls of Hysteria Hall by Katie Alexander. And there's a silent your mind playing tricks on you all the time. Delia's new house isn't just a house. Long ago, it was the Pivot Institute for the Care and Correction of Troubled Females, an insane asylum nicknamed Hysteria Hall. However, many of the inmates were not insane, just defined and strong-willed, kind of like the Dela herself. But the house still wants to keep troubled girls locked away, so in the most horrifying way, Delia gets trapped. And that's when she learns that the house is also haunted. Then Dead Girls by Afia Nikasi. The Hotties by Ryan Lysia. It Rains in the Forest by Sarah Nas. Her Letter Flowers by Shannon Morgan. The Creeper by A.M. Shine. Sinister Melody by Boris Bacic. One of the Girls, Lucy Clark, The Girls Who Disappeared. By Claire Douglas, The Overnight Guest by Heather Goodingolf, Death of a Bookseller by Alice Slater, Shadows at the Fair by Leah Wayne, Missing Clarissa by Ripley Jones, Salt House Place by Jamie Lee Sungin, The Drowning Woman by Robin Handling, Let Him In by William Flint, Grimmel of Grey Face by Hannah Alcalf, the Rosewood Hunt by Mackenzie Reed. Dark Corners by Megan Golden. The Sears Fair by Francesca. By Francesca Zapier. Midnight and the, is the Darkest Hour by Ashley Winston. The Manor House by Gilly McMillan. So those are all the books I have not read for this month. Quite a lot I did not get to read, but I'm hoping I will save them for next year. But I always let me know what you have not read for this month and please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post and I will see you in my next one. Bye!